Hey everyone, it's me C back here with another video. Today we are doing another guide video, this time on resources that um, you should have handy if you are into playing Dragalia Lost. So, before we get into it, as always, if you like what I do and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It always helps out the channel, and we are currently on our way to 300 subs. We're getting there. We're less than 20 ways. So, hey, if you like what I do, feel free to subscribe, man. I want to see if we can get to 300. I know you guys can do it. Also, if you want to see me on other social media, you can check those links in the description for my Twitter and a Discord server, which I will actually be talking about Discord in this video, so I won't harp on that too much. So, one little thing before we get started. So, I do have a playlist for all the previous sort of resource videos I have done. So, if you um, want to look at those in a neat compact way I will leave that playlist in the description below for you guys to check out so without further ado let's get started so we're going to be going over some resources that are helpful for new players and veterans alike and we will also be talking about some resources I do not recommend under any circumstances so first things first let's talk about Dragalia Lost Wiki or as I like to call it, Dragalia Wiki. Dragalia Wiki is one of the best places to get all sorts of resources regarding the game. So like, say you're looking up a certain adventurer and wanna know what they do. You can literally search in their name right here and then you can go to their page, read their kit. I have used Dragalia Wiki a lot for my showcases. That's sort of like a visual representation for stuff like that. Or if you wanna know what a worm print does, you wanna know, um, what materials you need to get a facility to max, max level. Uh, you could look at that and all sorts of stuff. You can look at basically most stuff in this game. There's plenty of pages in here. So basically this is one of the best sources for information for this game. So if you're looking for something, chances are it is probably in here if you search if you search in here. So it is one of the biggest databases, if not the biggest in the community, in terms of Dragalia information. So it is very good to have around, better yet, bookmark it like I do. Bookmark it like I do on my page. So if you ever need to look something up, this website probably does have it for you. It also has some stuff here on the main page, such as like how long events will be running, like what is currently available, New characters, new worm prints, double drops, um, the new version update, stuff like that. Whatever um, void battles are on double drops or triples. Uh, whatever high dragon masters is available. Stuff the Twitter says. So it's a very good source if you're looking for a um, compact, organized way to um, digest information about this game. Which I do appreciate this. I use this site a lot not only for information but it also has a very very big source of images so if you are say looking to get into doing dragalia content and don't know where to find stuff for thumbnails um this has a page that just has a whole bunch of images dumped from the game so you could get stuff from there and also, one other thing I forgot to mention, the Dragon Roost item, I believe, it should be in here too. It should be in there too, I'm not sure, but I know it does Trial to the Mighty, but it does, it does the Dragon Roost stuff in here too, but you know, with everything going on, it's kind of hard to compact everything right now. So, that is one big source, again, um, bookmark it if you want, you will probably be coming back to this a ton. Next source on my list is Dragalia Auto, or I guess Dragalia Auto, I don't know. Dragalia Auto, get it, haha, <laughs> funny. So, for those who are more on the um, auto side of things, who wants to focus on more of the auto gameplay, um, this is your best source in terms of finding auto comps for stuff. Say you want to... 
um, do Asura autoing. You could click here and you'll find a um thing for that. Or if you want to do Shell of Boss Wrath, you click on here. You will see a whole list of them, and then you can click. Let, let's click on here. And then you'll get their full kits and everything that they used with some notes in case. And in some cases, there are YouTube videos. This one does not have a video associated with it. So keep that in mind. So that is really good. These are... This is basically a big compilation of stuff that the Reddit posted and um, that were posted on YouTube. So this is all in a neat, um, neat package. So you don't have to go searching and finding it. So there's that. So da 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 da. da. Let me go down. There are also some special search terms here on the side. So search tips. You could try looking for a certain adventure, like you want to do an auto with a certain adventure or a certain quest. Though you could go through here and do that just fine. Um, or for gold farming, so for example, if you wanted to do gold farming, you could click on the gold Fafnir searches right here. Press enter on the search key, and then you will get all these gold Fafnir runs of content. So in case you're in that money grinding phase, this will be very helpful for you. And there's also Graceless. So if you don't have Grace for whatever reason, you can certainly look that up too. You can certainly look that up too. So this is going to be a great resource if you do care about that auto game. Let me go on my list. Okay, next on the list is the Reddit. That is not good. That is really not good. You guys have seen my email. I'll probably have to blur that out in post. So do not worry about that. I will probably take care of that. So this is the official Reddit. This is the official Reddit. So you will see there's stuff that people on the Reddit posted. Um, I'm not really a Reddit person. So... This is not something I necessarily care for, but again, if you are into Reddit, this is something you can look into. There's still some great resources here, like there's some infographics here in terms of information that compiles stuff for like, like who's available in the Dream Summon vouchers and things like that, which is a nice, easy way to compile stuff. It is also a place where numbers do get crunched. For example, when Reborn Agni came out, I think back in the spring, the question did start to arise, okay, who's better, Mars or Agni? So, after some number crunching, they discovered Agni is better um, for overall damage, but Mars is still good because of that skill recharge. So, they're, they're both very good um, and all that. So, again, if you care about that number crunching game, this is totally the place for you. There's also some fan art and memes here, too. Which is something I typically like to see. I like seeing fan art. Fan art's great. So that's really nice. So, however, do keep in mind this place has a very Reddit-like atmosphere. Hence, again, this is a Reddit. So, it can be very toxic and very... It can get very toxic very, very quickly. And some of the opinions may not be the best when it comes to looking for concrete information. So, it can somewhat be unreliable. In that regard. So, again, however, if you do like Reddit, this could be a place for you. It is definitely not a place for me. I'm not a Reddit person at all. So, let's go over to my last recommended site, if it will load. So, this is Raynon's site. They are a content creator as well. So, if you know who Raynon is, they run this site. And on their website, they post boss and character analysis. Like, for example, if we wanted to look up stuff for Basilius, if we wanted an analysis on Basilius, I hate these ads. So I'm not doing this ad free because it's just, you know, I want to get this video out for you guys. So basically, if you just want a summary of how Basilius is, for example, you can find that here. And it is in English and Chinese. Just keep in mind, some stuff does take a... Hot minutes to get translated, so do keep that in mind. So, 
this is still a great source and they are very, very credible and are well known in the community for doing this sort of thing. So they do have a good reputation and they are a trustworthy person. And they do post YouTube videos too for some stuff as well in case you wanted to see like actual footage of everything that Raynon is explaining on his website. So this is going to be a great source for you if you're still kind of on edge for summoning for a character like, oh, this character sounds good, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I want to summon that character. This could be a deciding factor for that. Okay. One last thing. Let's pop over here so we don't have to look at ads. Discord servers. Discord servers. So Discord servers are also another great source. This is the best way to find other people who play the game. Like, for example, this is my Discord server. C's hideout. We have a Dragalia Lost centric chat here. So if you want people to help you with Dragalia Lost, you can come in here, ask for help, and there will be people probably to help you. And, you know, we have all these other chats and stuff. So, you know, come, come by, come by, hang out, all that stuff. So, it'll be good. You know, get some friends and stuff. So, you know, if you want people to hang out with and talk about your Galia with or, you know, play games with, come on by. We'd love to have you. It is a great, great place. And also, if you need advice for, like, what prints you should use and stuff like that, again, this is a great way to do that. As I've explained... Um, I think I don't, I don't know if I explained this, but with prints and stuff like that, um, it is best to hear from the community and not take what a website says for granted is the best. Um, it is best to get a few differing opinions, so a Discord server is going to be a great way for that. Um, there is also the main cord server, if I can go find it in here. So there is also main cord. There is also main cord. I usually post my YouTube videos. Um, in here, I don't do much else, but there is stuff in here for like leaks and stuff like that. Data mines. I'm mostly in here for just that on top of the emotes because I use Nitro, so the emotes are nice. So keep that in mind. Um, this has a very Reddit like atmosphere to it. Um, there is even a Twitter account poking fun at it because the main court is a fucking ride, folks. It is a fucking ride. So, just keep that in mind. This place can be a little toxic, but if you care for that kind of stuff, this is probably a good server to check out, too. So, you have options in that regard. So now, we're going to talk about two sources that I would say are not worth your time. Number one on my list, Game Press. I will admit, I will admit, I used Game Press back in the day when I was still kind of new to the game myself. But again, this is what this video is about. So you guys don't make the same mistakes I did when I was starting to get into this game. So again, do not use Game Press. I've seen so many fucking people come my way saying like, oh, Game Press says this, 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 so it has to be correct. Yes, no, it's not. You want to know why? The Adventurer tier list is a fucking grand-ass example for this. Um, I would say still, with its improvements, the tier list is still kind of bad. Um, the tier list is still kind of bad in some regards because it only consider It does kind of shift between Agito and Dominion. Though, again... Some of their ideas are not exactly the best, to be perfectly honest. So let me filter all this. So again, it does filter it out. Um, the thing is with tier list and why I'm kind of finicky on tier list in general is mostly because tier lists are very much opinionated in Dragalia Lost. Um, tier lists are not de facto in this game. They are not like strictly... Like, 100% what you should be doing in terms of how to play a character at all. You, They really should. It's not. It is better to judge characters on which content they can do rather than their overall capabilities in battle. So, that is more important. Like, can they clear this content comfortably? Do they have an easy time with this? Um, And again, some characters do that a lot easier. Um, 
that's why I like that sort of ranking style more, where it's more like, okay, what characters can do their elements content easy compared to someone who's going to have a lot harder time doing it, um, depending on the adventurer. But, you know, you can bring any adventurer into any fight um, if you care about that character. I've seen some amazing clears and stuff with some terrible, terrible characters, but it's just amazing. And, you know, more power to you. But I still recommend if you're going to try and do that stuff, um, you should really know what you're doing. You should really know what you be doing. It has, again, gotten a tad bit better because we have the Agito side of things. And then if we scroll down, we got the Dominion tier list. So they did separate them, which is kind of nice. But their cho some of their choices are a bit subjective, depending on who you're talking to as well. Plus, some of their prints are not great at all. Like, uh, uh, let's use uh, Galazethia for an example here. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. So this here. You want to see, you want to know what the problem is with this? Beauty Secret and Beautiful Nothingness. These guys share a cap. These guys share a cap. So basically, you are basically cutting off about half of this print's um, abilities by having this on. You're wasting a print slot with that. So again, some of their print stuff is a bit subjective at best. So plus, these all kind of assume you're running dual Punisher, which for most teams, you really aren't. You're mostly focusing on one Punisher, unless you're doing, like, Iblis or something, which requires you to run Dual Punisher to have an easy time in that fight. So, again, these are very subjective at best, and I would not choose this site if you're looking to find out um, what prints you want to put on a character or what characters are good. Do not do that, please. Fucking don't. It's like... Forget this site ever fucking existed, basically. Forget that this site ever, ever existed. And it's like, I, I absolutely hate when people come up to me and tell me, Oh, GamePress did, said this, 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 this. It's like, no, 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 no. That is just one person's opinion. That is just one person's opinion. It is best to see more than just one side of the story in these sort of situations. Just getting one opinion and taking it for granted isn't going to help you form your own opinion. That's why I am concerned. Okay, final thing. So, the DPS simulator. I hate this thing. I absolutely hate the DPS simulator. Okay, I will give it credit. Back in the day, when we did not have as many resources and stuff like that, that we have nowadays, this was one of the places people would typically go to to find out what characters were good or not. So, it, it's a relic of its time. It is outdated and has somewhat fallen from grace. Especially now, since, you know, we have a lot more resources. So, some people love to consider this the Bible. Of Dracalia Loss. Says like, oh, what characters do this, this, this? What characters have the most damage output? You know, all that sort of crap. No. No. Do not ever think that. Um, no. This is not the Bible. It is just a simulation of possible DPS that you could do. The problem is with this, most of these print setups are very unrealistic, and they mostly run just Punishers, but you can kind of filter it, like with Curse and Nihility, like here, and it is loading, like a little piece of shit, so this is Curse and Nihility stuff, so you could be Curse and Nihility proof. And you can also do Element Lock, if you are doing something that's just a one element, because some fights do require one element only, so, that's kind of nice. But, again, some of these are not very good. Let me click off these filters. So, ah, this is not good. It's not very good. So, a lot of these print combinations are really strange. In actual gameplay, you're not going to be taking advantage of most of this. So, it leads the way to... um 
dead prince slots, like for poison. Formal Joachim's shared skill takes a while to ramp up, so that poison punisher is not going to be activating as much as you want it to. Even though Formal Joachim does have a big uptime with his with his shared skill, which is great, but getting to that point, it's gonna be long. It is going to be a long road getting to that point. So basically, that poison punisher print you have on your undercover grace, for example, gonna be fucking useless. It's gonna absolutely be useless for a good portion of the fight, which you don't want to do. But again, just know there are these filters here that can make it sort of uh, more realistic, which is kind of nice. However, they are very weird print options that don't actually take into account what a character can actually do. So that's not really that good. So that's why some of these are not recommended. And again, these numbers are very unrealistic because again, these do not take advantage. Do they do not um take into account what a character can actually do. So let's see if I can find a good example. Do, do, do. I'm not sure if I can find one right now. I guess the, the big one is like all Alex and Cat because that was like a big one back in the day. Um, cat can run out of stacks, which would can bog the shit out of your DPS, so you can't just be spamming your skills constantly like that, because then your, excuse me, my, your DPS, um, will bog, will bog the fuck down the entire time, which, you know, oh, that's 10 out of 10, that's great, you know, so please don't use this, those two sites, don't use game press, do not use the DPS sim, I would not recommend these sites, so, Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you watching this guide. I know it's a very short guide, but it's very more condensed because it's just a website. I'm talking about a website. I'm not talking about game mechanics where I have to go in depth on what this does. So I hope you did like this change of pace and I will be leaving all the links to the other sites in the description. I will also be leaving a link to my Discord server in the description. I will be leaving a link to main cord server as well in the description as well. So in case you guys want to check out the sources, feel free to go ahead. Okay, without further ado and without me rambling, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.